Okay, so this is a short video on unboxing second place for the uh, recent event at the uh, Galapagos Islands, which was the, I think it's a loose tooth parrotfish. Um, they called it the rare bird event. Uh, so you can see here, these are the rewards that you get for finishing second in this event. Um, after I've unboxed these, I'll, I'll run everyone through what it took essentially to get to second place um, in this event. So I just hit claim. So a nice second place badge there. Um, some nice weight pups. Uh, and then the option to pick, what's this, a six star, a uh, six star level rod. Um, I can never remember which rods I've got where, so I always tend to go. Uh, because I know I've got some good rods at Kenai, and I, I've got in that scenario where I've got some good epic fish, I'll probably end up going with that particular rod. Claim that, and then just this big pack, so a nice, nice amount of coins. It's interesting, they've started um, doing this the other way around. Before it used to start with common and then go up to legendary, and now it's gone from it goes from legendary back. Um, so you can see here, quite a good. Um, amount of lures in this pack as a result i think the rewards for some of these events have actually got less you used to get sort of two of these big packs and two rods and things like that um now it's it sort of dropped off a bit so you can see there you know over a thousand lures 1150 in this big pack so quite a decent decent reward and so yeah that's that um in terms of what it took to actually get to second place i'll just run quickly through that um, so obviously it goes without saying you have to complete each one of these, uh, all of all of the um, uh, individual components of the event. Um, so all the all the battles, all the duels, uh, reach the highest threshold in the grand tournament. And again, that's day one and day two. Um, so then when day two opens up, uh, you've got to do the same again. Now, interestingly, in this event, um, all the challenges. Interesting in this event. It's only the, the score that goes towards your uh, event total to, to actually winning the event. It was only based on one fish, and that is a new fish. Um, so that here at the top, the 6494 was the highest score that I got for that fish. Um, and there was no other fish involved in this event. Sometimes it's your highest score for this new fish, but then it might throw in a higher score for another fish like an epic or a mythical um but in this in this one it didn't so it was very much focused on the new fish and i don't know if that's actually easier or harder i think when you're competing at the higher levels that's actually a little bit harder um because it doesn't give you the option to benefit from one of those other fish that you may have invested in previously um so the real challenge i think with this one was hitting uh was hitting the greater than 6400 i did that day one um, got lucky, got an, a low 64100, or sorry, 6418, I think it was, uh, which was a 13 star. And then day two, I was thinking I'm going to really struggle to, to hit that um, because my lure level, if I go back here, my lure level for that particular fish, I didn't think it was actually that high. Um, it's level nine, which, you know, for a rare fish to hit 13 star, is that isn't actually very high and i think maybe they 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 lower the thresholds for or or sorry not lower the thresholds but increase the um points or the weight that you get early on in events for new fish because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get anywhere near um near the 13 star i mean you can see i've got a lure level 10 here and that's a higher higher lure um same sort of rod and all of that um but i, I still can't hit a 13 star um so I actually hit the highest score on day two. I got the benefit of, um, I can't remember what they call it, but sometimes the screen flashes up and you get extra points. That came up as well. So I got a bit of a bump um, when that happened. At the time, it was ranked, I think, 33rd when I hit it. But as you can see here now, it's dropped all the way down, all the way down to rank uh, 97. Uh, the person that beat me, uh to first i'll see if i can find where did that person come out yeah so trout wise ended up with the 42nd place fish 
and that was the person that beat me to first. Now, in order to hit that fish, um, I had to I had to get a uh, my rod all the way up. You can see I maxed all of the stats on that rod um, almost as high as I possibly could. I've got quite a high competition bonus, six point five percent, and then I had quite a high lure bonus, six point two percent for that fish as well. Um, and then in my skill tree, I'll just show you that. Try and find Galapagos here. There we go. In my skill tree again, I maximize the weight category for that fish uh maximize the weight for the individual fish and then i maximize my combo bonus and i maximize my competition bonus as well um so all of those elements with the maximized sonar with the maximized luck um like i say the, the you know the quite high licenses for competition the quite high licenses for the parrot fish um and then the the rod with all the bonuses and all the perks on the rod quite high as well all of those things essentially are what what helped me um you know hit a top 100 fish but um yeah unfortunately it wasn't quite wasn't quite first place in this instance um it was second place but you know live to fight another day and hopefully next time so that's a quick video on unboxing uh, second place and a little bit of background to what it took to actually hit second place for that fish uh, thank you all for taking the time to watch and happy